Hello guys, let's talk about ring camera not detecting motion. If you have this problem here, I have a solution for you. As you can see, I have my ring camera just right here in my cell phone with the motion detection enabled and also motion alerts enabled. So if I move something in front of the camera, you see that it gets an alert because it's detecting motion right now, okay? So it's important to understand the difference be between motion alerts and motion detection. If I just disable motion alerts here, the camera is still going to detect the motion and I have a ring subscription, so it's going to record into the cloud, right? So when I move the camera here, the, this box in front of the camera again, it's going to record into the ring cloud, but I'm not going to receive an alert because I don't have alert enabled here. So if I come here to the event history, I'm gonna see 346 here, see? Uh, it detected motion one minute ago but I don't got any event, right? So those are different things. It's important to understand here, there are some settings that you need to check. Motion detection here, for example, you need to check the zones. So basically you need to paint the zones here that you want to detect a motion, okay? So pretty easy, you select the area here and just save and you're good to go. And also there are some settings like sensitivity, you can put on minimal or maximum. Usually it comes like this, right? If yours is not working just to test it out, uh, the first thing that I have to do is just come here to put everything on maximum, just to make sure that you have everything good, right? Just for testing. Later you can adjust accordingly, right? And here also smart alerts. If your camera is not detecting motion, just disable smart alerts at first as well, especially if you have a ring subscription. And also here motion schedules, right? See if you don't have any schedule. If you have some schedule here, just remove it for the first test. And also here, advanced settings, you see that's off. So usually you need to do all of this, make everything off here to advanced detection and also to smart alerts. And sensitivity here, uh, back here again, there we go. Put it on maximum. So you make sure that the camera is working first, just like mine. And then later you can start adjusting stuff. Just make sure that it works at first and then you can make adjustments, okay? So it's working right now, as you can see. Let me just play with some adjustment here so you see uh, that affects the way the camera works. If, if I come here to the motion settings, for example, and I have a ring subscription and then I enable here alerts, smart alerts, enable feature here, continue. Then you see that smart alert is enabled right now and it can detect person, right? So now I just hit done here and when I come back here to my camera and I just start like making some motion in front of the camera, you see that's not working anymore, right? Because now uh, the, the video doorbell wants to detect person, right? And see here, there's a person at your office. And then sometimes it doesn't work with objects like cars or something else in front of the camera. It doesn't work like pretty good because it's trying to detect person. Sometimes I move my hand in front of the camera so it detects. But sometimes I just make some movement here with a box, for example, it doesn't detect. Why? Because it's trying to look for a person, right? And that's the reason it doesn't work. So be careful with this feature. That's why I come here at first and I disable this smart alerts, right? You need to come here and go down. It's like hidden here, disable smart alert. See, it's hard to find, but you just need to come there and disable smart alerts if you wanna work with motion detection only. Okay, so it works pretty fine that way. So basically you need to set up the, your zones, sensitivity, and then you can adjust later. Now that you know this work, you just adjust here, for example, you save, and then you come back here and you test it again. Make sure the motion detection is also enabled here. Then you can test again with motion, okay? And there's something important as well. You see now, it's detection motion, not person anymore. Something important here as well, is make sure that you have the mode settings. You see here the mode settings right now, this uh, red dot here, the red uh, icon. When I come here mode settings, you see it's, I have this for away, for home or for disarmament. When I leave my home, for example, if it's in away, I need to make sure here it's enabled for motion. You see motion detection on, 
and for both cameras, right? So you need to come here and make sure that motion detection is enabled here as well. Otherwise, it's not going to work, okay? So you can check for every single mode here, away, at home. When you're at home, you can check motion detection as well, if you want to, of course, or when it's disarmed, right? So make sure that uh, it's working like this. And ring alert is something different, right? Uh, when you enable here, for example, it's just when you press the button here, it's going to alert you or not. So here's the motion because I just moved the, uh, the doorbell. And when I press here, I get the alert from the ring. Okay, which is different, right? So just make sure you have everything that way. And also something important, if you are concerned with the motion alert as well, you need to make sure that your cell phone is not in this mode. Let's say, for example, if you come here and, uh, and you disable and you put here, do not disturb, you're not going to receive any alert anymore because you're in no, not disturbing mode, right? So then if I start moving here, doing whatever I want here, I'm not going to receive any alerts from the camera, all right? And something else that I need to check as well is just come here to your settings and you just go down and look for a ring here, okay? I just look here, ring, ring, ring somewhere. There we go, there we go. So here in ring, you need to check here notification. So I have here notification enabled, right? So if I disable here, it's not gonna work as well. So just make sure that I have enable here let me just leave like this to see how it works. So basically here, let me just come back here as well, put in a normal mode. And now I'm just moving the box here again and it's not working, okay? It's detecting, it's detecting motion here, but it's not alerting me because the alert is disabled back there. So I need to come there again and allow notification, okay? For the ring app, remember that's just right here on settings. If uh, the main screen on settings, you can just go down and you find the ring settings just right there, right? Let's just move this again. Okay, something important as well. When you do this, when I enable something here, you need to wait at least 20 seconds before you detect something, right? You enable something here, you change something here, wait for 20 seconds, otherwise it doesn't work. You see, at first it was not working, but uh, 10 sec 20 seconds later, it starts working. So if I come here to ring, you see here on motion that you have this advanced settings. Let me see where I can find this motion frequency. That's it, right? So here comes usually in regularly, right? So it, it takes a longer time to detect some motion. So what I usually do is come here to frequently and then it changes to 20 seconds between motions, okay? So let me just show you how it works. So it's frequently there. Let me just here make some motion in front of the camera. There we go. There is motion. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten 10 seconds. Motion again, right? No alerts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds more. Total was twenty seconds. Let's see now. Duh, now it's working. Okay. So just make sure that you understand that so we can make your ring work better. Okay. So that's the way you can set up your camera if your ring camera is not detecting motion. There's a lot of things that you need to make sure that you understand and you set up correctly, okay? So I hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.